As you exhale, spiral the arms inward, let the head look down, and as you inhale, spiral the arms open and look up. And this movement is not happening just in the arms and shoulders, it's happening in the whole upper spine. So the exhale, you're letting your upper spine ground, and as you inhale, it's actually a bit of a back bend in the upper spine. What you may notice as you, as you do this is on the inhale, your arms tend to move away from the center line of your body. So we're gonna let that happen and gradually work our way into an arm lift. So eventually the arms are coming up overhead, but go at your own pace, take several breaths to get there. But that lifting movement of the arm starts each time with that same spiral. And that helps your shoulder blades to drop down the back and the tops of the shoulders to release as the arm is lifting. That's it. And on your next exhale, when you come down, we're gonna keep going down by unstacking the spine slowly from the top to the bottom. Let your arms just dangle then and let each vertebra come off that stack as you roll down slowly through the spine. Keep the knees soft. Good. Very nice. And just feel how the breath interacts with your spine in this position. Everything's always in a state of motion because you're always breathing. Feel the motion that the breath creates. You might even want to bend the knees a little more. Make those leg muscles work and there you go, good. The more the legs work here, the stronger they are, the more completely you can release in the torso and the spine. And from here, we're going to stack the spine back up, starting with an exhale. Draw your lower belly inward and let that send your tailbone downward. And then from the sacrum we're stacking to the lumbar. That's it, much better. Good, slowly, one vertebra at a time, coming back onto that stack until the weight of your head finds the neck. Take a few breaths once you're there. Yeah.